talk about uh, tables uh, anyone who would help me understand what this particular line is uh, syntax is trying to do so this is my table name and uh, this these are my column names uh, it has got four columns and these are the types of the columns you can see and uh, what uh, two new lines if you are able to figure it out these are the two new lines right row format delimited and fields terminated by comma what do they mean is uh, any guesses in this in, in this regard what can they stand for okay the first thing is these things are completely optional you may ignore this suppose we are having the employee name as a unit as uh, u and experience as 10 location as l suppose this is one record of suppose we are having a file and we want to load the content of the file into the hive table this is our requirement loading the content of the uh, file into the hive table and the file contains comma as a delimiter which you can see and the row format is obviously delimited so you can specify this property row format delimited and the terminator between the fields is comma it means the file which we are going to load into hive that is going to contain this uh, comma as a delimiter between the fields between the columns now the question is how are we going to load some content into the table so you can drop a table also if you, if you don't require that uh, so certainly we will see that how to load a, 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 the content of a file into the table in some time but before we go to that particular thing can uh, rename a table alter table table name rename to a new name uh, you can change the columns as well like if you try to use this particular thing uh, go for changing the columns you are altering the emp details you want to change column this is the name of the column this is the new name and this is the new type even if you are not changing the name and type of the column but you have to specify this this is the new behavior of the column and this is the existing name and you can add comment as well the what the column stands for and this is the after unit like where, wherever be the unit column you want to make sure that the employee name column becomes the one after the unit column so you can change the position of a column as well using this type okay so i'm going to show you a few examples of the tables uh, so i'm going to create the emp details table and then i'm going to show you this type formatted and uh, drop them let me check if it exists i'm going to drop it first I'm going to use uh, default uh, database. Now I'm going to create a table EMP details. Now if you try to check uh, DESC, you can use describe or in the shorthand DESC table name. It will give you what are the different columns and types of the table. And if you want to go for describe formatted emp details so it will give you a lot more information the column name type the important thing is location you see this is the location where the table is going to store its data basically this is the sdfs location many more things are there which will come up slowly now i'm going to alter the table i'm just uh, going to change the behavior of the emp name if i describe the emp details this is it now I have made the alter statement and now if I try to describe it, you will be able to figure it out that EMP name was before unit. Now EMP name has come after unit. So the ordering has changed and this comment you see that has been added. This comment is optional just in case you want to uh, make uh, kind of a uh, it verbose like which column stands for what which column is going to store which type of time uh, what with what, what kind of uh, data so you can use the column as well. what makes the difference i mean uh, anyway the data going to be stored in the column format so what is the meaning of putting the before and after columns i mean in case uh, you uh, figured it out that uh, the column ordering of the file and the column ordering expected column and ordering of the table are not in sync i mean they are mistaken so you can uh, uh, just kind of make a change you can make a correction out there like what i mean is for example suppose you receive a file the file contains uh, say a unit as the first field then it contains the emp name then it contains the experience and location 
this was the file but uh, due to mistake you made your hive table which used the emp name as first column unit as the second experience as the third and location as the fourth so you won't get the actual data because if you try to figure uh, take the employee name you are actually getting the units so you can rearrange the columns of the particular table but what happens is uh, when dealing with uh, unstructured data we usually don't have a schema information in the file what we have is uh, we usually get data of this format like uh, we get a b c comma 12 comma 16 comma x y z like this and the source from where we get data they tell us that the first field is the name second field is the location third field is the experience fourth field is the unit like this then we have to maintain the mapping our uh, hive table should also be in the same like the first column should be the employee name second column should be the uh, the experience or whatever is the field of all about uh, but yes in rdbms they might not be making that i mean uh, difference whatever with the ordering of the columns you can use views as well i mean the same way you use in rdbms either you want to hide the complex uh, queries or you want to fetch uh, some subset of the table you can use views so you can have some complex queries and you want to take the result of that particular query in your uh, some other query so you can use views in that regard or you can use views to take some limited columns and limited uh, rows uh, from a particular table so that's about views the syntax to create a views is uh, very much identical to that in rdbms you can see i am creating a view called as a emp view which is selecting the employee name and experience from employee details where uh, experience is equal to one so whenever you try to get data from the view this query will be executed and uh, whatever is the result of the query that will be returned in hive uh, i mean we don't want to fetch the whole table maybe some subset of data so we may use that part as well a cat killed average is dead